okay let us learn pascal language today using this flogorithm so first let us declare few variables here we can give the name of a variable and here we can choose the data type now as we see this basic for data type i supported here let us take integer variable i can name it anything but i can take i just represent the, that it is an integer variable so as i see in this code there are few sections so under the var section i is declared as integer okay what are other variables we can declare you can say real real means decimal number probably so r is real number another variable is a string s okay string data type you can declare a boolean variable so these are the variable declarations now we can actually assign the values if i assign the values for i say 10 it is a whole number it is an integer okay during declaration of the variable we have to use single colon and while initializing the value for assigning the value we have to give i colon equal to 10 okay as i say r equal to 3.14 or anything same pattern repeats for the string i can name what i can name say india with it quotation here i can see it's a single quote okay even i have given here it's double quote it's single quote here okay and for the b variable if i say true this can is true can i run it yes i can run it but as i have not printed anything nothing is actually printed so this section is for variable declaration value assignment and then what we can do we can probably print the value Let's just print the value i so print ln ln may be for line short form of ln so there is a new line character is there if i don't use that in that case only write so it means the new line character will not be used so write line will add a new line character at the end and write will not add a new line character at the end so for now keep it with the new line character and then output this value the variable s and the value of the variable b okay if we run it we are getting the result exactly as we have stored it so so far we have learned variable declaration value assignment to these variables and printing the value of the variable to the output so far okay now can we take input can we take input okay so if we want to take input for the variable i it is just read line okay then we can take the input for variable r input for uh, s and for e let us see how can we take it the only read line everything it is read line let us try it okay for the say i am giving 45 the value i for the value of r maybe 2.68 and for this 
if I give simple by name. Okay, and then if I say false, then it is printed properly. Okay, so during giving the name, uh, that is a string variable, I don't have to give explicitly the quotation. But what if I give explicit quotation? What will happen? So if I give quotation only, then the quotation will come. If I don't give the quotation, it will come as it is. Okay, no problem. So this is the first part where we have actually a declared variable assigned values to input and then print it as the output. We'll be moving to part two in the next video.